Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing an update of Washington Dulles International Airport. Um, not a lot has really changed, we've still got that uh, brand new terminal kind of thing. Um, basically if you haven't watched the last video, um, what I'm doing is instead of having a cargo aircraft, I've actually uh, implemented one of the um, old Gemini Jets terminals. Uh, it has about five gates and it's just, you know, being used for Frontier. Air Canada and potentially Porter. In real life, Porter don't actually go to this terminal, but I just think Porter looks nice at this terminal, so I do that anyway. There's no Porter in this update, however, so um, yeah, apart from that, um, I think I have one or two new models. We'll get to them when we get to them. Um, but yeah, here we have a, a United A320. Uh, he's just pushed back out of a hangar. He's going to be doing some engine tests and then uh, he's going to be going over to the United Gates and then flying out to Orlando later on today. This update isn't also based at any time. Um, I've just put a lot of uh, aircraft that um, people have suggested, um, so people have said, oh, can I see the, for example, the KLM 787 again? Uh, and so I'll just put that in there, because the trouble is with Dulles, is there is just such a huge amount of international airlines, I can't fit all of them in one video. So sometimes I forget which ones I've had in, which ones I haven't had in. You know, and British Airways alone, there's the One World 747, the Normal 747, the Landor 747, the 222, the, tri uh, the 78. Eight, um, and of course the A380 is potentially coming back in October so there's just a lot of planes that you know sometimes I just kind of forget about and I just stick to the same kind of aircraft but um, if you could if you could kind of um, pick a time slot out of the day I'd say roughly about 4 p.m. Uh, about that uh, I would say there's no there's not all of the airlines like I don't have any Lufthansa's I was hoping to get the Lufthansa A330 the new one in this video, but unfortunately uh, That isn't here yet next here is just taxiing out to the United Gates here We have a United 777-200 He's going to be heading out to the United Gates and then going to be uh, getting his passengers and then heading off to Paris Charles de Gaulle just hiding behind the Frontier A320 there, we have an Air Canada Express CRJ900. He's going to be heading out to Toronto. Then in front of the Air Canada CRJ900, we have a Frontier A320. Uh, he's just getting uh, some catering on board and the cleaners are cleaning the plane and then he's going to be uh, pushed back out to Colorado Springs. Just in the middle there, I don't know if you can see, we have an empty gate, they're just preparing the gate uh, for another Frontier flight that's just about to land, he's going to come in from uh, Denver. And finally for this terminal we have a Frontier A320neo, um, he's just getting the fuel on board and then he's going to be pushed back for San Antonio. Holding short of the runway now, we have an Avianca A321. Um, he's actually waiting for the uh, Frontier flight from Denver to land, and then he's gonna be entering the runway and he's gonna take off for La Paz. Just arrived in from Doha, uh, we have a Qatar 777-300 in the One World livery. Uh, as I said, he's just arrived in from Doha, and he's gonna be heading over to the gates. Next, just getting fueled up, we have a United Express Q200. Uh, he's going to be heading out to Canadian North or Shea Maguire's airport. Next here we have a United Express uh, ERJ175. He's going to be heading out to Cincinnati. And just arrived in, we have another United Express Q200. Uh, he's just arrived in from Rochester. This United Express ERJ170 has also just landed in uh, from Manchester. And finally here we have a United Express ERJ170, um, he's ready for taxi, he's going to taxi out to the runway for a flight out to Lexington. Here we have an Etihad 787-9, uh, he's going to be heading out to Abu Dhabi later on. Scandinavian A330-300, uh, um, he's going to be heading out to Copenhagen. Next here you're probably thinking why on earth do I have two British Air 747s? Um, well, this actually happened this week. Um, basically, uh, one of the British Airways One World livery 747s, that's why I've included the One World one, uh, actually had an accident. So if you don't know, British Airways operate two flights a day to Dulles. Um, so the morning flight was uh, scheduled to be on one of the One World 747s. It's not that registration, I've already checked sadly. Um, but the morning flight was scheduled to be on that aircraft. 
I uh, took off like normal and then just about an hour after passing over Ireland uh, one of the uh, flight attendants um, actually knocked himself out on one of the uh, overhead bins somehow I, I, I still don't know how they were managed to do that but um, and yeah so he knocked himself out and the plane returned to Heathrow um, now after getting the uh, flight attendant some medical attention the plane got refueled and rescheduled back to go to Dulles um, and they didn't wait until the next day they literally just got the guy off and refueled the plane and then left as far as I can see um, they might have got the passengers off the plane and on they didn't even get a new plane it was the exact same plane I mean why would they to be honest it's already in the loop um, but yeah and then that plane ended up leaving at the time of the second British Airways flight so two British Airways 747s landed at around the same time um, and then yeah so if you were there on the right day you could probably see two British Airways 747s which is quite cool now I'm pretty sure you can guess where these two will be going to but um, these both will be heading back to London Heathrow later on today um, and one of them, well let's just say both of them, is also going to London Heathrow or Obsessive Wolf Lovers Airport. Next here, just getting bags loaded, we have a Southwest 737-700, uh, he's going to be heading out to Denver. And then just on pushback here we have a Southwest 737-700 uh, in the Triple Crown 1 livery, he's going to be heading out to Atlanta. Delta 717, uh, he's just getting bags loaded as well and uh, he is also going to be heading out to Atlanta. Next here we have a Delta 737-900, he's going to be heading out to Los Angeles. It isn't a real route but it is a suggested route by City Gonzales. Valaris A320 Neo, he's just getting catered up and then he's going to be heading out to San Salvador. Copa Airlines 737-800, uh, he's just getting cleaned and then he's going to be heading out to Panama City. Ready for pushback here, we have an Alaska A320, he's going to be heading out to uh, Seattle. Next here we have an Iceland Air 753, uh, this is in the 100th uh, year anniversary for independence for Iceland. Uh, but yeah, this plane is, uh, he's just come in from Reykjavik um, and he's going to be also going on to uh, Palmer Sea Airport or Ava Ices Airport. KLM 787-9, uh, he's almost ready for a flight out to Amsterdam and this is a suggested route by Michael Wooten. Now, first time appearance on an airport update, here we have the uh, newly fixed Aer Lingus A330-300. Uh, he's going to be heading out to Dublin. Now, if you didn't see, I did unbox this plane, and in the unboxing, uh, the plane was broken. The front, uh, like, tire piece was off. Um, luckily, uh, after the video, I just literally snapped it in, and it was fine. Uh, that is one... I, I was kind of putting Phoenix down a bit, because, you know, the plane did arrive broken, and planes aren't supposed to arrive broken. But that was the easiest fix I've ever had to do. It literally just snapped in and it was done. Next here we have an American Airlines uh, A321. Uh, he's just pushing back for Renza International Airport or American Airlines 321's airport. Next here we have an American One World 737-800. He's going to be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth or Red River Aviations Airport. And finally for this uh, terminal we have an American Eagle CRJ-700. He's going to be heading out to Charlotte in a bit. Now I apologise briefly for there being no GSE in the United Terminal as usual. It's just really far away and it's really hard to like get the GSE there. Um, so there's just going to have to be no GSC. I mean, I'm sure on it anyway, so yeah. Anyway, here we have a United uh, Airlines 787-8. Um, he's going to be heading out to Zurich. United A320 heading out to Mexico City. United 737-800 heading out to Vancouver or YYJ Plane Spottings Airport. United 777-200, he's going to be heading out to Frankfurt. Just arrived in, we have a United 737-900. Uh, he's arrived in from Las Vegas or Aviation 11's airport. United 737-700, uh, he's going to be heading out to Sunset Beach or MCB Aviation's airport. Next here we have a United 757-300, he's going to be heading out to San Francisco. And next we have a United 737-800 heading out to Chicago O'Hare. This is a suggested route by Gemini Jets 26. United 737-900, he's going to be heading out to Cleveland. Now I know this is on an express plane, but I did want to include this because I'm actually going on this route soon, well the opposite way round, um, and so I just, I just wanted to include it somewhere. 
United 757 200, this is going to be heading up to Dublin. And finally, a United 767 300, uh, he's going to be heading out to Geneva. And that has been the update of Washington Dulles International Airport. And before you click off the video, I do want to explain one kind of important thing. Um, basically, after this video, all of my Dulles updates um, will be uh, pre-recorded, and that will mean I won't be able to do uh, subscriber routes. So do not leave subscriber routes in the comments of this video. If you see anybody just you know, scold them, I'm kidding, just leave them, it's fine. There's always one or two or three or four or five people who do that. Um, it's all right, I'll explain it to them in the comments because they obviously didn't uh, get to this part of the video. Also, if you do have a subscriber route, make sure you include that subscriber route in your um, update. Now, I'm not pointing out anybody in particular here, I'm just using this as an example because uh, I just see this plane, it's the closest one to me and I know who subscriber it is. So this plane here, this for example is Red River Aviation's uh, subscriber route. So basically he will now do a um, an update saying um, that that plane in his collection is going off to Washington, Dulles or my airport. That's how, you know, subscriber routes work. I don't just shout out you, you also shout out me. It's, you know, creative way of doing a shout out. Um, so just make sure you do that because um, half of the people who watch these videos um, don't know how subscriber routes work. That's fair enough. Um, they just take a, quite a bit of time to explain. Um, so yeah, just make sure you include um, a plane in your update that's going to my airport. You know how I've said it. So you know this is an American One World seven three seven eight hundred, uh, and he's going to be heading out to Washington Dulles or Aviation 18's airport. Um, so that's how it goes. Just wanted to point out that. Um, and yeah, apart from that, uh, I don't really know if there's anything else to say. Um, yeah. So apart from that, just don't leave any uh, more subscriber routes. Um, and yeah. That's about it. So I guess I will see you um, sometime soon in the next video. I don't know whether I'll have a Tuesday video out just because I'm I'm really trying to flush out these air airport updates. Of course, you're not seeing them at the moment, but I'm scheduling them all up until September. So I'm just recording like a ton of um, airport updates and they're all going out. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.